The Diamond Heart Meditation Diamonds are our ultimate symbol for love, beauty, wisdom, and in antiquity were considered to be the thoughts of angels, shared equally amongst all humans, yet only recognized by a few, like yourself. In order to fully appreciate the true value of diamonds as prisms of heaven, we need to recognize that we have a diamond prism within our hearts destined to express the beauty and love of the divine forever. Valued for their strength, diamonds represent the unbreakable and eternal nature of our souls, serene, pure, loving, and exceptionally wise. For thousands of years, the Anahata Chakra of the heart has been known as the center for love, unity, and connection. And so through this beautiful diamond heart meditation, we will purify our hearts, cleansing away all fear and toxicity through the lit prism of the diamond, so that you may journey into higher states of communion with the divine, and so assist the ascending frequencies of ascension. Let me say this prayer for our heart knowing, knowing that prayer often cleanses the neural pathways of our being into the very mind of God. This is a prayer for pure heart healing. Dear angels of Atlantis and all ascended beings, we thank you for your pure sweet loving and we hope that all the beautiful facets of our hearts are now purified and hold in the divine perfection of our very own super soul heart crystalline I am presence. We thank you for the vigilance of our heart matrices and hope that they are now once more aligned and well tuned creating such profound healing within as we gasp in awe at your divine love and care. Please continue aligning and attuning us so that our divine access pranic cord will allow us to flow in unity with the eternal light essence. We thank you so profoundly that all episodes responsible for any distortion within us or any disconnection from our godlike existence are now peacefully healed and whole, and that our love and pure offering is now restored within the faith and trust of your divine abundance. And so it is. Amen. Make sure that you have a truly quiet space in which to feel stillness, an oasis or sanctuary of your own calm. Remember, switch on voicemail, dim the lights, play gentle, ambient, sacred music, burn a candle and incense, and simply be at peace. As you sit, make sure your body is positioned with your spine aligned, with your feet touching the floor, your shoulders free, the neck fully aligned, and this will allow you to feel grounded. If you wish to sit cross-legged on the floor, simply find a position that is comfortable with your spine aligned for the very significant energies that you are about to receive from the cosmos and ultimately from the divine. If you wish, bring the tip of your thumb and forefinger together as this mudra, sacred finger position, harmonizes the powerful lines of force within your being and these energy lines are known as meridians. Bringing the tip of your thumb and forefinger together literally connects the sun and moon in your being. The sun, the solar deity, teaches us how to think, whereas the moon teaches us how to feel. Imagine that you have within your spine a beautiful silver white light and see it moving down through you to the base of your spine and then through the building, into the basement, into the earth's crust, into the soil, 
into the clay, into the stone, into the rock, into the womb of Mother Earth. Feel how she holds you in her unconditional love, which we call gravity. Ask her for a gift, ask her for a sign, ask her for a blessing. And then siphoning her energies, her loving energies up through the rock, through the stone, through the clay, through the soil, through the earth's crust, through the basement, through the levels of the building in which you're placed, until you once more move through the base of your spine, all the way through your body, allowing any of her teachings or signs to rest in your heart, secret chamber, as you once more continue with this beam of light up through your spine and then shooting off through the top of your head, through the building, through the atmosphere of the planet, until you find yourself in connection with the planet Venus and anchor into Venus, the nearest planet to our planet, Mother Earth. This means that your pranic cord is fully open and ready to receive the celestial forces of the infinite. Cool, calm and clear. These energies will remove any emotional debris from your heart. Center your attention in your heart chakra, which in natural state is a beautiful emerald green and bring your breathing in through your heart, rotating your heart chakra in a clockwise direction. Breathe wide and deep. And when you feel full, pause just for a second. And then breathe out. And this time rotate your heart chakra in a counterclockwise direction. Once you've breathed out, pause, Feel the need to breathe, and again breathe in, rotating the heart chakra in a clockwise direction until you're wide and deep and full. Pause, and then let your breath go, rotating your heart chakra in a counterclockwise direction. Do this three times. And once you've completed the three cycles, just position Ha within your heart chakra, which I'm going to do now as you complete the three cycles. Ha. This will awaken your heart to its vital force, to what is most integrated within its divine self-knowing, and therefore it will bring you to a powerful self-realization that this divine flow, this divine sounding, can only be fractured through the negative resistances of your life, by unloving energies, by betrayal, by hatred, by self-doubt, by anger, by shame, by guilt, by fear, by self-denial. These traumatic energies are not of the natural flow of the source. These energies belie one's sanctity and unique sovereignty. So as you replenish this exquisite force, surrender to the divine knowledge and splendor of God's love. Once again, Oh. And feel how the, the ah cleanses your heart, harmonizes all of the organic fiber of your being, 
bring everything into alignment with the exquisite force of divine knowledge and the splendor of God's love. Now, imagine that the emerald green light of your heart has within it a beautiful, clear diamond the size of your heart. See this diamond as the essence of your soul and feel it shine beautifully whilst you once again breathe into the diamond the life force of the source, the beautiful pranayama of God's breath. and then rest. Remember, your breath is a way of replenishing the vital soul force from the source that feeds your soul. And as you breathe out, you can feel that through the prism of your heart, this exquisite prism of heart consciousness, of divine will, you literally breathe your essence out into the world once again, three times. Pause, feel the stillness, feel the stillness within, the stillness without, feel how in the stillness you soak in the frequency of soul, your soul, my soul, the soul. And see the extraordinary prism of your heart radiating all your love, all your purity, all your essence into the world and see this love shining into any area or culture or nation of the world that you know is torn by conflict. Feel this power healing the world. Within each thought cascades a thousand waterfalls Within each feeling dwells millions of years. Within each breath echoes trillions of love songs. Within each pulse evolves the infinite of creation. Inside each wind flows the ocean deep. Inside each rock sits a mighty sage. Inside each grain of sand resides the world. Inside each ray of light shines the universe. Within each raindrop lies the sun. Within each blade of grass breathes the moon. Within each particle of soil here the angels sing, within each tree 
which streams the goddess whole. Inside each cell dwells ten million stars. Inside each star resides the ancestor's light. Inside each person lives a soul's full pride. Inside each soul God walks soundless as the night. Ten million stars are you. Yet one soul connects them all. A shining one is you, made in the perfection of the source. One diamond heart are you, through which ten million stars call. Wonderfully, see each star reminding you of your guardian force. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.